Hello people and welcome to this small video. Now, I've been asked by a friend of mine if I can help them redo their netbook so they can sell it. I said yes I can, but I need some hardware. Yes, we never get a job without hardware. And uh, here we have the hardware we think we're going to use. Uh, you can see on the right is a external well, actually, it's out of its case, but it belongs to a PC. It's an internal DVD-ROM drive. Well, it could be a ROM, it could be a writer. I've no idea, actually, which one that is, but it's one of the two. came out of a Packard Bell. Strip for parts. Now, I'm taking the hard drive out of its caddy, which is here. The hard drive has been removed. And what we're going to do, folks... So we're going to install that DVD ROM drive and you could oh flipping thing that's still recording I hope so we're going to stand this here there right I'm going to put this drive this DVD ROM drive into this caddy now this thing doesn't physically fit in this caddy but we're going to redneck it in true redneck style we're going to put it in. So we connect the ID cable to this caddy like that. And then the whole thing sits atop of that. I'll put it on the floor and I'll grab the camera again. And Stop recording video. Button. Stop recording video. Right, okay, I was just checking. Right, as you can see, for those who can see, that drive does not fit inside that box. So we're going to just sit it on top. Now I'm going to apply, I've got all the power leads and everything sorted because I've been trying to do this video for the last 10 minutes and keep getting interrupted. So everything is wired in. Now I'm going to turn this drive on at the side because we've got it sideways mounted. And the drive comes to life. Now there's a disc in this, I think. Yes, there is. There's a disc in it. Nice. So, that drive powers up. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my lead. Now I've got the drive connected to that. I'm going to put this USB lead in here. And we're going to see if this becomes an external USB DVD ROM drive. So, I'm going to connect that to Quinn. And you'll hear that when we connect it to Quinn, Nothing freaking happens. Why not? That don't make any sense. Or is Quinn not recognising hardware today? To USB device not recognised. Oh, I've had that bloody crap before. I've had that crap before. So we've got to try it on a different port. I know this problem does occur with these drives. These caddies are particularly renowned for not recognising devices. Ah, this time it's done it. Click installing device sire drivers. Let's see. Uh, it is... Ah, Philips DVD R161... Ah, <laughs> it's detecting it as a uh, DVD drive. And it seems that it might actually work. Once it's connected. So then it should. Ready to use. Right on. Right on. We're ready to use. So let's go in and see. Zero percent. If adjustable. we can. Swipe up or down to adjust the value. I know. I know. I'm going to go into my computer. We're going to take a look and see if the removable disc is there. And yes, there it is, DVD RW. Open it. And yep, you can redneck a DVD rewritable drive like that one into an old hard disk caddy. Because I need this to be able to repair this netbook. So uh, it can be done. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I've certainly enjoyed putting these videos together. I hope this is useful. And I will see you soon. Bye for now.